This should take less than 10 seconds. Scream. <laughs> Anyhow, this is for succession. So the reason why we're having this error, like if we take a look at the log for succession, I'll show you guys exactly what it says. Nothing is gonna happen still, but we're gonna get a log showing us what's happened. Why is it stuck? And the succession log is under the mobile file. You open it, there's the log. Now, the problem is the HDIK must be run by root, which means succession does not always run by root. We have to change that. You know, we have to change this fact and make sure that the app is running by root. To do this, we have to SSH to our phone. I use this, that's the reason why I installed OpenSSH to be able to access it from this app. So, you can do it. With any software you have or you like or you prefer or whatever. Anyhow, I'm gonna access our iPhone. I just wanna do something real quick. I don't want my phone to lock. So I'm just gonna set it to another lock. Go there we go. Now, uh, I'm just gonna CD back. So we have to run some command lines, okay? And these commands are to change the root ownership. I honestly, I don't know, like, for some people it works just fine, and for some it doesn't. I'm one of those people who had a problem with this app. I'm sure a lot of you does too. So all you need to do is charm root wheel. I mean root does. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see exactly what I'm writing. And you wouldn't have a problem doing the same thing. Succession restore.app. I'm gonna write the file pat the succession restore this that. there you go so hit enter now we have the schmod six seven five five okay have same Restore. So as Sam mentioned before to me, before opening succession, I have to make sure to kill it with app switcher. And since I don't have my home button does not work okay if your home button works just click twice and close succession if it doesn't type this command kill all succession restore oh ah I just I typed I forgot an S there you go now 
session is officially killed by the app switcher. You can run it from here or just open succession. Okay. Now I have to zoom back a little bit. We hit prepare for restore like we did before. Now instead of wait for 10 seconds, we fixed it and we are in the next screen. Hit erase iPhone, okay? Begin restore. Now it's gonna start restoring back to the firmware we copied in succession. It's going to take some time, so just bear with me. So I'm just going to leave this like that, or this way, so you can guys see the command lines we use to fix the um, attaching wait 10 second screen. And the reason why it gets stuck at that phase because succession was not running by root. Some phones, they don't have problem with this. And some phones, they do. If your phone does, this is the resolution for you. By the way, these commands that I just put in here, if you install new term, which is, you know, iPhone terminal, you can run the same commands and you will get the same results. Just, you know, an FYI. But if you don't, you don't know how to use you know if you don't know how to ssh through your computer or you don't have this app or you don't want to waste much time or you're lost you know use your iphone's terminal that's the reason why i told you guys like i like to install a new term so basically it's the same thing and you get the same results Oh yeah, this is a very important note that I would like to add in here. Um, this downgrade, and specifically this type of downgrade, it only works with the check rain jailbreak, which means if, you know, after we bypass the 13.2.3, the reason why we're downgrading because so we can have a fully bypassed uh, version, you know. So we will be able to use the home button, you know, the volume, notifications, and such. And we would be able to, you know, open up our apps without any problems. But if your phone dies or you restart your phone, your iPhone will go into an infinite loop. You know, you will see the Apple logo just looping, you know, which is pretty much the same thing that you will see after this restore is gonna be completed. Anyhow, but the good news, your data will not be lost. If your phone dies, or you restart your phone, it's gonna go to an infinite loop. All you need to do is to jailbreak your phone with check crane, and that's how your phone will boot up and function normally. 
you, you wouldn't ha need to bypass the iPhone again. The bypassing, you'll need to do it only once, which is renaming the setup, you know, like we used to do in Telegram.